a quick comparison between FPV stock omnidirectional antennas versus circular polarized antennas and stock lens versus 2.8 millimeter wide angle lens. This is the Hobby King 5.8 gigahertz 200 milliwatt setup in a Sony 1 3rd inch CCD board camera. I'm flying at about 2 to 300 foot altitude a 1,000 foot range and a very crowded urban environment with lots of flat surfaces and metal, Wi-Fi, cell phones, and you can see there's a lot of multipathing and interference with the stock antenna. Here I've switched to a cloverleaf circular polarized antenna and using a skew planer circular polarized antenna on the receiver. The large main picture is using the circular polarized antennas and the picture in picture is the stock whip antenna. So you'll see that the interference is almost completely eliminated at this range in this environment. Then using the same circular polarized antennas, I put a 2.8 millimeter wide angle lens on my camera, which is the picture in picture. And that dramatically improves the field of view. The main picture is still the narrow angle stock Sony one third inch CCD board camera lens. Here the main picture is using the 2.8 millimeter wide angle lens and the picture in picture is the stock lens. I find the wide angle lens does a much better job keeping the horizon in field of view at all times which is really crucial for orientation. You can ignore what appears to be better resolution in the picture in picture, that's just because it's the same resolution picture shrunk down. So hopefully that's a little help for some guys making some FPV choices.